on the rise, and they've been killing and terrorizing way too many innocent people. We and other countries have been trying to put an end to this horrible feat, but yet not a very big dent has been put into this barbaric group. We need to end this. Every day, these people kill innocent civilians in the worst possible ways. Terrorism shouldn't be ignored, and we aren't ignoring it, but yet we aren't put, doing much to stop it. Airstriking and drone is Yes. We're um, giving money to the United Nations and soldiers to the United Nations to stop this right now. But are, have you seen, like, lately? It doesn't seem like he's doing that much. And yeah. plus we're having refugee camps for the refugees that are leaving Syria right now. But they are still killing people. I mean, like, <laughs> we're not risking it so they're not killing people anymore. But we are contributing, though. But we haven't fixed it. Okay, um, we can't, okay. We need to send troops to combat these terrorists and put an end to them forever. We have the strongest army that this world has ever seen, and then why are we hesitating? If we want to stop ISIS, we need to act fast, because they grow so fast and they kill so fast. Every moment, every moment you don't let us go to war, the more innocent people will be beheaded, lit on fire, and tortured to death. We need to act now, and we have way too many lives on the line. This is life or death for thousands of people if we do or do not go to war. And everyone knows that. Why wouldn't we want to save people? Are we worried about losing soldiers? We shouldn't be. These brave men and women sign up to join the army, knowing that their lives are on the lines. But they do it to protect others. We are here to protect others who can't protect themselves. We are their defenders, and we shouldn't leave them for death. Because if we don't go to war, they're as good as dead. War is necessary to end ISIS. Nothing we have tried along with other countries has worked yet. Airstrikes have done little to nothing to ISIS, and cyber wars are only affected at stopping their recruiting. If we were to strip ISIS of their media and they use to spread their influence, it still wouldn't do much. Just because they aren't on camera doesn't mean they won't stop killing. So cyber wars wouldn't work. And airstrikes are doing nothing but wasting our money. But troops on the ground can work. With troops on the ground, we can fight ISIS along with Iraq and stop this horrible group. It won't be hard to get to Iraq because we are great allies with Iraq and we will do nothing and they will do nothing but welcome us there. Plus, we already have a massive amount of military bases in Iraq. Iraq might as well collapse without us to help without us there to help them. And trust me, if they were to collapse, ISIS would have a sharp spike in power and murders. Yes. Iraq has two thousand troops with the Kurds that are that have already taken back Tikrit in recent months. They they don't need our help. But the thing is, even they are fight, uh, they are fighting this issue, but it's just not working fast enough. Because like every moment we aren't working together to kill ISIS, the more they're killing. So what do you want to do it as fast as possible? No. <laughs> okay. um, Iraq can. Oh, sorry. Without us in Iraq, the death toll of civilians would be sky high. ISIS will not stop until they die. We can't overlook ISIS as not a threat. If you think this, I just don't know how you don't see them as a threat. They are slaughtering people all day and take pride in it. How can you overlook that? If that isn't a valid reason to go to war, then obviously it will not work out for you. Just take a look back like at, in Rwanda. Um, we knew that there, there were mass murders there and we ignored it, but that was obviously a horrible idea. We ignored it and what happened was they killed even more people. And what was worse was the citizens knew they were stuck there. And they knew no one was there to help just because we didn't want to waste our money. And we didn't want to send troops to the ground. So hundreds of thousands of civilians there died. But this year, but if we do continue to do this, that will happen again. We cannot go to war with ISIS. They are a terrorist organization working on levels never seen before. To stop ISIS, we need better tactics, strategies, and equipment. This may not be as clear because ISIS and Al-Qaeda originated from the same place, but ISIS is a completely different opponent that has learned from their weak brethren. Instead of investing in bullets and body armor, we should invest in keyboards and computers. Bullets and soldiers will only weaken their leadership and organization, but this will be replaced. But playing out a full cyber war will completely destroy their source of strength and power. One of them is... They're still recruiting in Iraq and Syria and stuff, not on the internet. They are recruiting in Iraq and... <sighs> they are... <laughs> hard. 
they are recruiting in Iraq and Syria, but this is a lot less than the recruits on the cyber war. And plus, the cyber war, um, they need recruits online for passports to get into other countries. So if we stop that, they cannot ISIS is the most socially active terrorist organization group, using Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube to recruit young teens like me and you. First, they persuade you with the idea of life and independence, life of wealthiness and adventure. Currently, they're using GTA 5 to show kids, hey, we actually do this amazing stuff that you see in the game. This is how they recruit their militants and how they evoke fear in other countries way better than they are right now. Sit down. The, the inability to communicate with outside worlds will prevent their ability to gain militants and assets of war. After that, all they need to do is crack into the system of their source of income, oil. ISIS makes $2 million a day off of oil reservations. Cutting off the oil reservations ISIS has gotten, they will lose their only source of income for weapons, vehicles, and video editors. We have proven this to work. In 1982, the CIA administrator natural gas pipeline, resetting the valves so that the natural gas movement would be would flow smoothly, but they'd set the pumps to full speed, resulting in a three kiloton explosion that could be seen from space. Where was this? This was in Russia. ISIS is adapting to different forms of supporters and better ways to get supplies. And to end ISIS, we have to step up to their plate, not getting intimidated and step back. ISIS is a completely new way of intimidating the U.S. ISIS is using our fear, our past, and our media against us for in intimidation. 62% of Americans want troops fighting against ISIS, but if I were to ask all of you to raise your hands who the leader of ISIS is right now, do you, any one of you know? You wouldn't know, but I said. I know you know. But there, there isn't, there isn't a leader of ISIS. There are like ten people that are leading ISIS right no, now. No, the supreme leader right now is Abu Bakr al Baghdadi, right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, why would we want to fight a group we don't even know? So social media, simple chemistry. The news already craves death, so. We, um, so we just need a gruesome death that will catch the eye, a few threats, and bam, a bunch of ticked off, scared Americans who want war. In truth, ISIS has only killed five Americans, but mass media and propaganda has made it feel there. Is it just about Americans? Yeah, they killed five Americans, but they killed thousands of other people. Do those people actually, not matter? Actually, 85% of all deaths of all severe Syrian civilians. Ah, Syrian and Iraq civilian deaths occurred from the government forces, the people who are fighting ISIS right now through ballistics, ballistic missiles, bombs, and airstrikes. They are shooting the people in the town so that they can leave before they die. Wait, wait, so that ISIS doesn't have a population. <laughs> ISIS is still killing people. ISIS is killing, killing a lot less than people. They're killing a lot less. But they're um, still killing. This. <laughs> okay, well, you know that the death tolls have doubled each year from 2012? That's because ISIS has grown each year from 2012. And also, the um, government forces, their death toll has doubled each year as well. It's, it's been doubling. They're, it's just, it, they're in a civil war right now, basically. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are in a death risk. Yeah. 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 Ye